I really love that story about Raven. I really relate to it. I relate to this idea that sometimes the world can seem so overwhelming and scary and new that all we want to do is pull the covers up over our head and go back to sleep and pretend that nothing is happening or pull the egg over our head depending on who we are. I love the image of him with his uh, patchwork of eggshells around him, his big feet poking out and his uh, feathers sticking out of the bits, pretending that he's an egg when really he's a raven. And of course, I love that he eventually comes out of his shell and he does that when something else is more important than his own comfort and his own fear. I love that he finally embraces who he is um, and does something to support his brothers and sisters who are struggling. He is a brave raven. I think we all have brave raven moments in our lives. One of mine came when I was in college and when I finally decided to tell the world, or at least to tell a lot of people, that I am a gay woman. And looking back on it, I'm realizing that my coming out experience went pretty well compared with how it can go for a lot of people. And I am mindful of that, and I'm grateful for the people who've supported me. Um, but at the time, I gotta tell you, it felt excruciating. I was in college and it felt terrifying to, to tell people. I had always been, I've always been my whole life kind of an anxious person and I think it was this struggle and some other things that just really made that boil over. Um, I had, I was just afraid a lot of the time. I felt keyed up. I felt so nauseous that it, it was hard to eat sometimes. I was constantly afraid that I was sick, um, that uh, I was going to get a horrible disease and, and die. And it, I eventually um, I took myself to the emergency room because I thought I was having a heart attack. It was a panic attack. I eventually got help. I got myself to the counseling center and college and I got help and it helped. <laughs> and I also got myself to the uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender advisor. There was a woman whose job it was to run programming around LGBT issues and to support students who were wrestling with our sexual orientation or gender identity. Anyway. Those of you who have uh, struggled with coming out will know that, of course, I had avoided her like the plague. I decided that I would tell my first person out in the real world. And I wasn't going to tell many people. I was just going to tell a few. Over Thanksgiving break, I was going to be seeing a friend of mine from home who was also gay. I figured that would be a good start. And I remember very clearly what it was like. Specifically, I remember what it felt like in that moment right before I told her. Like standing on a diving board above some really cold water and knowing that it's going to be different and a shock and maybe uncomfortable. But just taking a deep breath and nudging myself to just go. I told her. And we talked for a couple of hours, and I felt better. <laughs> I felt like I had a new store of energy, and I felt like I had more room to breathe. So I wasn't planning on telling everybody else, but it felt good, so I did. And with each person I told, I felt a little bit better. And I told my family, and they were supportive. And that was amazing. Looking back on it, I think a lot of my anxiety about coming out was about 
how scary it felt to step outside the story that I had been telling myself about who I am and what I want and how I was going to live my life. It felt scary to step out of the roles and the parts of the story that society was telling me were normal. The world is a scary place. Um, Raven saw bright lights and loud noises and threatening animals. I was becoming an adult in a post 9-11 world. 9-11 was literally my second day of college. And maybe it's the case that having a particular set of expectations, a particular set of rules, felt like something to grab onto in a world that didn't make sense. Um, I think it felt a little bit like having keeping to what was normal and what was expected was what was keeping me safe. And actually, it wasn't. It was keeping me constrained, squeezed, and hungry like little raven in his shell. There's a phrase from the Christian scriptures, it's from the first letter of John, that perfect love casts out fear. And I'm not sure I know exactly what that was meant to say in its original context, but what it means to me is that it is possible to live a loving and authentic life in spite of fear. When I came out and after I had this experience of being authentic and the power that came from taking the risk to tell my own story about who I am, after I had that experience, I promised myself that I would no longer make decisions based on fear. I'm still a pretty anxious person and so that doesn't mean that fear and anxiety are gone from my life. But I promised myself that I would not let anxiety and fear of the unknown shape my life anymore. I would remember that experience of metaphorically spreading my wings and take a deep breath and do it again. And so that's my hope for you and for all of us is that we can find the courage to be authentic and to be the brave and wonderful and powerful people that we are and to fly into the worlds of beauty and brokenness and adventure. <laughs>